Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your May 2018 reading. This Generally my readings are love readings so we're just going to see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and um, we're going to get one of these and if it flips over while I'm shuffling then you'll get to see it now otherwise we will reveal it at the end. So what I'd like you to do is, while you're watching this reading, follow your own intuition and always do what's right for you. Um, only take what resonates and leave the rest. It will not resonate with every single... Here, go flipping it. It will not resonate with every single person. You guys are probably going through some sort of upload from the universe, and I say that now because my ear just started ringing. You know, it wasn't a ring, it was a tone, a tone in my ear. So if you guys are hearing tones in your ear, then, you know, I believe that you're going through some, some, some sort of spiritual upgrade. And patience, and you know, in the other deck, patience is the temperance card, one of them, okay? One of the meanings, so, which is Sagittarius. So this card is absolutely perfect to you, for you. Be patient with life. Be patient with the changes that are going on. Okay? Be patient. This is a strong message for you. Okay? Right now, you know, you're probably working. You're probably evolving. Okay? You are. You're transforming from one phase to another. Give it time. It doesn't happen overnight. Everything happens for a reason. Okay? And this is very, very, very similar to your card. Okay? The temperance card. I feel like you guys are going through a spiritual re renewal right now. I would suggest you just go with the flow. Let it happen. It's happening. This is divinely guided. One plus six is seven. Seven is divine guidance. You guys are going through divinely guided changes right now that are changing your inner being. So just, just go with it. Just let it happen. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, May 2018. Your whole life is changing for the better. In big ways. Okay? It's changing in big ways. You guys may be changing your home. You know, the insides of your home, moving things around, just changing the decor. Everything is changing in regards to what's going on within you and in your life, Sagittarius. There's major changes. for May. May. You guys are probably indecisive. Things are things are happening. And when things happen, they can cause some Struggles. You guys may be going with, through some struggles with all the changes that are going on. You may have to make some stressful decisions, okay? You may be facing some opposition from your peers or your family members or even within yourself because of what you've always known, okay? So there may be some opposition that comes up this month. Um, you may be on a, you may be trying to avoid these changes and that's why this patience came out because, you know, Sometimes change is needed 
to propel you along your path, okay? So I feel like you guys may be feeling insecure. You may, you, you probably may not be so sure about this new opportunity, okay? You're probably feeling, feeling a little insecure about this new you because it's scary, right? So I feel like you guys may be, be at this crossroads in regards to these changes. Yeah, I want them. I'm ready, but I'm scared. But I feel like you guys are being called, or you guys are being, yeah, you're being called to stand up for yourself. What's happening is you are going through a period of growth. Okay, you are. So this tells me that you may even be on the defensive about these changes or whatever's going on in your life, you may be on the defensive. I think that you will be facing some opposition. Maybe as you change and you want to change things, the people in your life may be like, what the hell's going on with you? What are you doing? So you're going to be called to really defend yourself and stand up for yourself and say, you know what, I'm changing. I'm evolving. I'm becoming a new person. Please be patient with me. Explain to them that you have, you're going through changes. And it may be painful. I feel like these changes may be painful. But they are leading to happiness. They're leading to abundance. They really are. Whatever is happening in your life is leading you to wish fulfillment. Okay, it is. Something, a part of your life is ending. You're letting go of the old. So you may need to go through this period of recuperation, which you have been. I know that you have been. But, you know, well, as things die and go away and we become new again, we, we blossom. And I see the blossoms. You're blossoming. So I feel like you guys are probably, you probably will need time to rest as all these changes are happening. And some of them could be happening without your consent <laughs> you know what I mean I mean without I mean I think that you're consenting but it's it could be a little overwhelming okay I feel like you know this there could be some conflicts with another person you may you know because you've evolved so much and you're changing so quickly and you've you're becoming a new person whoever you're with may not be right anymore, okay, with the lovers reversed. Maybe some conflicts come about with this person because they're no longer on the same level as you. So that you could end up wanting a split or a divorce or, you know, um, needing to release something that is really heavily weighing, holding you back, okay, I feel like, and they might not be happy about it. You may be dealing with somebody who thinks that you're treating them unfairly. But you're being called to defend yourself, okay? Whoever this is that you're dealing with that is weighing you down, they're not you. If something needs to end, you need to do the right thing even if they don't like it. I feel like you have been there's, there's something is no longer realistic and you know it and you and you have to take action but you're 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 stalling with taking the action. You may be in a situation that is no longer on your path, you know what I mean? I think that you're on a sat in a situation that's no longer satisfying. It's no longer realistic. It's no longer where you're at. I you know, and it's painful. It is painful. I feel like you guys are probably indecisive about these changes that are going on, but you know that you want them. But it feels as though you're stalling. You're absolutely stalling with making the, making a, a serious decision here. You are. You're stalling because, you know, you don't want to treat anybody unfairly. And they're probably 
oh, this is not fair, this is not right, I can't believe this is happening, what has happened to you, why are you doing this? So they might try to bring you down, you're, you're like, no, 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 I've just changed, I've just changed, I have to follow my dreams now, and this is no longer part of my dream. I, with the lover's card reversed, I feel like there's an end of a contract here with the lovers and the justice both reversed here because it's no longer realistic to your identity, to who you are. It's no longer realistic. And I feel like you're wanting more. You're wanting more in a relationship, whether this is job or love. You're looking for something more. You've become clear of what you really want. That's what it's like. It's like, I know what I want. I know. And I think it comes to you, I'll probably even could come to you suddenly. I know that this isn't feasible. I know this isn't what I want. I know that I have to go after my wishes. I know what I want. I've made my decision. And I feel like you guys are probably, you've realized your goals. And now you see what you want in the future. And that's where you're headed. And I feel like in the past, you have been blocking it. You've been blocking it. And I feel like, you know, you've, you're definitely been stalling. And you're probably going to continue to stall a little bit at some point during this month. Now, this could resonate anywhere toward, through the end of April into May. This is a May reading, but this is being recorded on April 17th. I feel like somebody has been stalling because all of these changes are coming so quickly. So they're they're pretty undecided. They probably don't want to, you probably don't want to hurt anybody, but it doesn't serve your highest good. I feel like you're at a crossroads and you're you're pretty indecisive right now and you are probably feeling like I just I'm trying to block this emotion these emotions, these feelings, these thoughts right now. I'm trying to block the move movement as I wrap my head around everything that is going on within me. You guys are trying to re keep the control. You're trying to keep the structure in your life. You know, it feels like you guys are trying to make the best decision. Maybe for your family and yourself. trying to do the most responsible thing and that's why you've been stalling because I need to do the most responsible thing for everybody involved but myself importantly most importantly so I think that you guys are probably very conflicted about where to go even though you really do know what you want you do know you made the decision you know what you want but now you need to come up with the the plan you know, the right, the right plan to move forward. So I feel like there is probably many people that you have to consider in this decision. So I, whatever you're going to do, you're, you're trying to consider everybody. Okay. And I think there's a lot of, uh, uh, tension surrounding this decision that you need to make to move on. You know what you need to do. I think that you've made the decision, but you're trying to, you're trying to carry it out in the most responsible manner. without hurting anybody. And I feel like you are probably, you know, suffering brings true growth. So I feel like you have been through some amount of suffering that has taught you a lot. It's given you a lot of wisdom. Some kind of suffering in your past, whether it's in this lifetime or a previous lifetime, could be both, has brought you a lot of wisdom. And this is probably why you're blocking making this decision right now because you're trying to be make the most wisest decision. So as to not hurt anybody because there's a lot of people involved here. So I feel like you guys have made the decision to move forward in a situation. Now you're just coming up with the best approach. Yeah, it feels like you guys will probably be ending a commitment, whether it's with a partner, a relationship, a job, a friend, a family member. It looks like you guys are probably going to become emotionally unavailable to one situation because 
you can't cling to that anymore. I can't hold on to that. The past is the past and I can't bring it with me. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's been blocking me. I feel like something has been blocking you. You know it has been blocking you and now you are probably going to make yourself emotionally unavailable to whoever this is that has been holding you back because they are no longer part of the plan. Like I said, I feel like that there is a break in a commitment contract, something. Because you're looking for progress. You're looking for success. You're looking for victory here. And I feel like you um, have found, are finding your courage and your confidence to be successful in whatever it is that you want. I feel like you guys have made a lot of progress and you can no longer live in denial, even though whoever you're dealing with probably is in denial and they don't want to hear it. I feel like, you know, somebody may not want to hear the truth. They may not want to accept the truth, but I think you're going to deliver it anyway. I feel like you, you know, somebody is wearing a mask here and they don't want to hear, the, like I said, they don't want to hear the truth. And I don't think it's you. Uh-uh. Nope. I think that you are taking the mask off and somebody isn't happy about that. You're looking for more in a relationship. You're looking for more in a job, whatever this, however this applies for you. I can't pretend that I'm happy. I can't, I can't deceive myself anymore. I'm looking for something more. I need to go follow my dreams. So I feel like you guys are headed in the direction of success and victory. But you may have to cut somebody out of your life to get there. And I'm sorry. You're going to have to release somebody. Okay? There's a release that's needed. Oh my God, son of a gun. Have patience. Patience is <laughs> the truth here. This month is about being patient. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself all the time you need to come up with a plan to do what you need to do to bring success and victory to your life. Don't make any impulsive decisions. Use your wisdom. Use what you've learned, what you've learned from suffering to make this decision. Take all the time you need. You don't have to make any decisions overnight. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Patience, patience. Try And I know that's what's going on here. You guys are probably going to remove a situation that's holding you back as kind-heartedly as possible. So... For May, you guys are continuously evolving and you are being called to have patience with your decisions, have patience with yourself, have patience with other people, make patience your motto for the month. The mask has been lifted. And it is time for you to make a very difficult decision in which you have been stalling and making. Good luck.